This is problem number six from section 6.1. Now this problem is a good problem. It, it caused me some pro, or it caused me some issues at first uh, when I first did this problem last year. But it says approximate how many inches the weight in the figure will rise if r equal 20 inches and the pulley is rotated through an angle of 78.6 degrees. This is the key, the pulley. What does a pulley do? Well, as this thing wraps, so I'll slide over, as this thing wraps around here, it's gonna pull the rope up. Now, when it pulls the rope up, however much rope it pulls around this, that's how high this is going to rise. So this is going to rise as this rope twists around. So whatever distance the rope twists around, that's how high the weight rises. If you know that, this problem is super easy because if the uh, weight is moving up the same distance the rope travels around the circle, traveling around the circle is arc length formula. So we can come back and we can say, all right, we know we're going to use R equals 20. We know we're going to use theta equals 78.6 degrees. And we know we're going to use S equals R theta to solve this because we want the arc length. However long, however uh, far the pulley is twisted, that's how far the weight is moved up. So we can go ahead and say that this is 20 inches times 78.6 degrees. And one thing I have to remember is that this has to be in radians. Theta does. So it's in degrees right now. I need to convert that by multiplying by pi over 180 degrees. So let's plug this in the calculator. If I go ahead and plug this in the calculator, I get 20 times 78.6 times pi divided by 180. And it says 24, and it says round to one decimal place. So 27.4 inches. So that weight is going to rise 27.4 inches because this pulley is twisting 27.4 inches.